Hello everyone. My name is Lan Zhou. Today, I would like to talk about Tactabot, a haptic design toolkit for out of lab exploration of emotional robotic touch. This work is a collaboration with Zachary Schwemler, Akshay Bawaja, Hapri Sarin, Casey Lee Hunt, and my advisor Daniel Latiner at Alice Institute, University of Colorado Boulder, and Parsons School of Design. Tactabot is a haptic toolkit to empower emotional haptic design in longitudinal out of lab exploration. It contains a series of wearable tactile modules controlled by a web based software application. Each module's shape and mechanism are designed to perform the target social gesture. Let's start from the background and motivation. Touch, the very first sense to develop in the womb, is an effective communication channel. Psychology studies have demonstrated that humans can convey emotions solely through touch by performing a variety of effective gestures. These findings have sparked an increased interest in computational emotional touch, especially by replicating familiar social gestures. Here we show selected related works that demonstrated the viability of emotional communication through haptic technology. However, those works also revealed that the meaning making of artificial touch is still contextual and subjective, which is challenging to arrive at a generalizable haptic language. Also, pursuing the replication of realistic human affective touch with haptics devices may even fall into the uncanny valley. Under this circumstance, we start to ask, what alternatives can we explore? In Multitector, our previous work investigated how designers approach emotional haptics, which revealed the emergence of alternative metaphors beyond replicating human behaviors. For instance, here, participants use shake to convey love as it reminded them of a warm cradle. We tentatively hypothesized that those manifests could be invoked by robotic touch's otherness. Otherness here is an aesthetic category for describing robot design that exists the dominance and supermorphic and zoomorphic paradigms in their outward form, whose inherent ambiguity allows a broader spectrum of possible social responses to robots' behavior, which benefits long-term engagement. As extensively discussed in human-robot interaction, our work plans to intentionally emphasize the otherness feature in emotional robotic touch and investigates its impact in depth. We propose treating the emotional robotic touch as a design canvas and argue the importance of embracing ambiguity in emotional haptic design by leveraging the balance between the familiarity of interaction, recognizable social gestures, and the otherness of form robotic tactors appearance and texture. To embrace diverse behaviors, encourage in situ engagement, and respect the slowness of reflective, nuanced, visceral interpretation, we decided to conduct a longitudinal design exploration outside the lab. Therefore, a haptic toolkit ready for independent operation in the wild is needed. To design the toolkit, we conducted a formative study with early prototypes to investigate the design heuristics. The results informed us to design the final toolkit in a wearable modular form factor. Motivated by the results, we designed Tactabot. It contains seven plug-and-play wearable tactile modules shown here and a home module for rendering a series of social gestures. Having the design principle of otherness in mind, we devised each module in a minimalist form that follows its function. Our specialized WebGUI allows for easy control, modification, and storage of the tactile patterns to support fast prototyping. We deploy tactile bots to certain designers, artists, haptics researchers, and researchers in adjacent fields. The experiment let them dive into emotional haptic design in an unsupervised condition by giving them the freedom of time, pace, and space. Our study focused on collecting and analyzing what how and why alternative interpretations would emerge in the experiment. When the participant received the Tactabots package, we scheduled a pre-task interview to collect their background. Following it, we sent out an email with study instructions and materials. They needed to complete the task. After finishing, we conducted a semi-structured interview to learn about their design experiences. Moreover, our participants kept the kit for more than three months. As for the design task, we provided a text-based fictional story as a prompt. Here is a sample narrative. 
When starting the adventure, you are in a dark space without any lights. You can only hear some creepy sounds from the distance. The elf in the cursed bracelets is scared. Can you imagine the elf expressing its fear through touch? What would it feel like? Are there any metaphors pictured in your mind? Those are questions we ask our participants in a semi-structured interview. More specifically, we inquired about user feedback on toolkit design, learned how they perceived robotic sensations, and collected experiment schedules, spaces, and metaphors to characterize the design experiences with Tactabots. First of all, participants' feedback on Tactabots' design validates its usability, versatility, and capability in trust building. The sensations created by Tactabots were found to be novel and expressive. While some participants believe the tactile modules can indeed perform the gestures as the name suggests, alternatively, others focused on the real perception, revealing that tactile bot rendered distinguishable gestures while leaving space for personal interpretation. Rob Tactor, the most different from human hand performance, gained the most interest. They commented that Rob was unique, hard to predict, very accidental, and surprising. One participant said. The race dots on Rob Tector reminded me of spines on cat's tongue, so I used it to mimic a cat licking when designing love. Another one commented, "I used Rob to design disgust because I felt it could provide goosebumps feeling." Without strict study protocols, participants scheduled their experiments differently. Unlike lab study, our participants chose their design environment by themselves. One decided to take the design task during a trip to Los Angeles and took the kit with them. They shared the photo with the caption, "The bots are enjoying California sunshine." Some participants took the experiment in the trustworthy private space so that they could explore different body placements, such as neck and ankle. Two participants shared us with photos that show how their pets were attracted by the robots during the in-home experiments. While、well, they also become inspirations for their touch design, beyond the active interaction for design tasks, the long-term study also created a space for passive interaction. We had participant kept the kit on his desk in the research lab, where he built and tested novel haptic devices every day. And another one put tech bot in the corner with a bunch of painting materials at home. Participant pictured various metaphors to design the tactile sensations. Which includes conventional interpersonal touch scenarios, or alternative ones such as bodily responses and behaviors, animal behaviors, cartoonish characters, and associated concepts. The design rationales for those metaphors were identified as emerging metaphors for primary emotions, intentional metaphors by imagination and association, provoking metaphors from touch perception. For instance, here an HRI researcher employed an inspiring approach to make meaning of Tactabot's touch, which generated associated concepts metaphors provoked by perception. She said, "I first wanted to discover the personality of each tactor. I put the tactors on my body, closed my eyes, and tried to think what is the most similar sensation I had to this type of touch. For example, she associated rub with feathers." Because the sensation was soft, stroke was surprisingly wild and reminded her of the spice of rose. We later defined this experiment approach as metaphor illustration. Reflecting on our generative discussion with participants, we present two design applications to further expand the design space of emotional haptics. First, we recommend enhancing the ambiguity in future research by designing robotic touch beyond social gestures. Exploring otherness beyond machine-like, and experimenting expressiveness beyond primary emotions. Second, we argue the importance of shifting mindsets. The study finding shifted our mindset when we realized human imagination on the tactile channel is much more powerful than we supposed. Having invited different experts, we also observed how their unique perspectives brought us novel inspirations. In the end. We would like to thank our participants in the longitudinal out-of-lab design exploration. The detailed findings can be found in our paper. Thank you for watching our presentation, and feel free to reach out with any questions you may have.